What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris, and this is the Third Person Podcast. With me, as always, is my buddy, Mike. What's going on? What's I up? Did, I did that weird. That's a, I did it in a way I've never done it before, but that's fine. Guys, welcome back. We are talking uh, Game of Thrones, Season 7, yes. Episode 2, entitled Stormborn. 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 Um, what's up, guys? Mikey, this is Episode 2. Yes, I know. I'm getting. Uh, I'm. I'm uh, so happy that the show is back. But it's like we know that there's only seven fucking episodes, and we're down two already. I know we're down two. But it's but like, but no. this is good, but, man. It's good. This uh, is dude, this it's was been, good it's stuff. It's been fucking awesome. It's this was been a awesome. good episode, man. I I, I yep. enjoyed this verily. Yep. You know. Yes, I think um, so far, my first. You know, from these first two. Um, I'm still thinking Arya. That opening premiere scene is still one of my favorite scenes so yeah, far yeah, yeah. out of these two, but it's cool because we get some uh, some of our reunion special uh, hopeful reunions kind of happen in this. At least one of them for me, you know, the Arya Nymeria thing. So I'm digging that. Um, but yeah, dude, um, uh, this show is fucking awesome. Um, you know, I was away, like I said, and I wasn't able to watch them right away. And we were trying to figure out different um, options of, of viewing these. And I kind of was able to bunch the the one, the first and second episode together. So um, I kind of had a little two hour binge. That's good, yeah. man. That's really so good. It, cool. That's definitely fun because you didn't have to wait for like, you know, like the rest <laughs> of us. Um, well, I waited a little way, bit, you know? but, you know. but, um, but no, it was cool. So, so, I mean, let's just jump into the episode. Yeah. Uh, first, first is you know. Let's talk about Danny. How she, this was, she, this was, okay. This is the difference between having being on book and off book. Now, I I know writers can write however they want using whatever material they want. I get that, but the stuff that's been off book. So last season and and even more so in this season now. Yeah. The dialogue. I just it's it's a little more, dare I say, modern, but not really. Do you know what I'm kind of saying? So they. Listen, people are speaking more plainly now, meaning okay. they're saying what the fuck they mean as opposed to being like, you know, word all this, they're bandying words. There's no bandying of words here. So yeah. Danny calls out Varys, and I was like, yes, when was that going to happen? I was like, right? I wanted that. That needed to happen. The inspired to killing her, you know, like but you know poisoning what, though? the wine. And but Varys... And Varys for me has been a character that's been on and off, been like, ah, I like him. Ah, he's a dick. Yeah. Ah, I like him. You know, whereas like a character like Littlefinger, I'm like, I hate this guy all the time. Oh, uh, Littlefinger, I can't fucking stand. I think, but I, mean, I think that he's a mystery, Varys, to a degree. We know that, you know, we we know um, the, the the character he is, and we know that he can play multiple sides, and and he can change who his allegiance lies with, in, in the blink of an eye, just to, you know. Um, but we talked about this a little bit, and we we know why he he changes his his allegiances, and he's he's for the people. And that's what was cool with him and and Danny when Danny kind of um, questions him right off the bat. How can I the, how can I trust you? You, do, yeah. well, you wasn't it you that hired the people to kill me? And he's like, listen, listen. And this was so cool because he was just mm -hmm. like, look, I'm I, I do like you said, I do what I have to do to yeah. to, to stay alive. He's like, but I will tell you this, I won't lie to you. Yeah, you know, I won't lie to you. And at the end of the, you know, we don't have to go to the whole conversation, but, yeah. you know, she, at the end she says, tell you what, do me a favor. If I ever become too big for my britches, you call me on it. And he's like, yeah. all right, deal. You know? I think she realizes, she she realizes that, um, listen, look at well, look at what Varys helped put together already with the alliances with the Martells and, and Lady and Olenna and everything joys, yeah. like that. And, yeah, so I think she sees, I mean, it's, it's a given. She sees... Um, the, the, the value in, in Varys, and we all know what kind of character he was, even though, you know, Daenerys, Daenerys only uh, has known him for a short time. We as the viewer have seen the kind of character he was for the past seven seasons. So, um, yeah, it's, it, it's interesting. And, and, and Daenerys has a good team by her side. You know, we see them plotting um, by their war table there with... Um, with so, Yara, so so and Yara is there. Yara, Yara and Theon Greyjoy are there. Lady Olenna is there. Lady Olenna, the Queen of Thorns, um, and um, Olivia, Olivia Martell, Martell, right? Yep. The snake and yeah, the snake they the, call her. Oh, the yeah, snake, snake. One of the girls, sand, of, the sand snakes. Yeah, or the, or the three girls, the sand snakes. Yeah, I forget. Yeah. Anyway, but you know they're they're conspiring, 
and and they have a great team, you know, like I said, around Danny to to provide um, some great war tactics, you know, especially what? with Tyrion laying out the mission kind let of me, thing. Let me ask you this, because this was something yeah. that, that was presented, you know, uh, at, like by the producers and stuff. And mm. this, is the, this is literally probably the first scene that we've had a group of powerful women on this show discussing what would normally be a room full of old men. Sure. What do you think, man? What did you think about that? Were you? No, you know, I mean, these are all it, powerful. These we've seen each of these yeah. women in their own right. Mm -hmm. Okay, run down the list. You got Danny, mother of dragons, the 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 freer of breaker, the of, breaker chains, of chains. And you know, the the stopping of slave they, trade. You have the Greyjoys. <laughs> okay, who she's she's Yara, she was in contention yeah. to 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 rule the Iron Islands and all the shit she's done. You have uh, Martell, who. You know, killed Cersei's one child, and you have the Queen of Thorns, Elena Tyrell, who killed one of her other children. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I, I understand completely. You know what, dude? Like, these when, are when these it, are these are badass women. Powerful women, but I don't. When I watch this, I don't see them. You don't see them as women because they, right from the beginning, they depict women as pretty much equal to men as far as warriors and the way they can think and well and i wouldn't smart. i wouldn't necessarily I, say that particular well, women yes but not not all exactly but these particular but women. They're, they're in this universe so there i don't is room see for them those as yeah. yeah i didn't necessarily see them meeting around this round table and um as wow this is a bunch of women it's they're they're badasses now, i mean i, I mean? feel the same way i think i feel the same way i think it was like yeah. i obviously i i knew that this was a group of powerful women but i didn't um yeah. You know, I didn't see them as such. I saw them as their Sexist. characters. You know, I saw them as their characters where it was like, we know what all these characters are capable mm -hmm. of. And that was really Yeah, cool. no, so, of course. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's, um, it's, you know, even, even some of these, these characters that aren't f the physical characters, like the Yara and, and, um, you know, uh, you know, um, we, we, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. We see like Melisandre and, and, um, you know how she can you know the cool thing with melisandre in this um is is even though john and davos kind of uh you know sh uh, told her to get the fuck out of out of winterfell and and if i see you again kind of a thing i'll kill you she still um believes in john enough to tell danny listen there's this guy up north you got to call him you got to check him out and that was one of one of my of the more exciting parts of the episode for me was because we saw that um, John uh, will be speaking with Tyrion eventually, and how Tyrion is the one that writes this this letter that's sent uh, by Raven. Um, so I thought that was that was interesting, you know, with Melisandre, and I thought it was interesting about Tyrion and John uh, eventually gonna gonna meet up. Well, I mean, that's know? the thing. So with John, it's like. So he he gets this 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 uh, invitation to come to come south and yeah. you know meet uh, mm -hmm. with you know the queen of mother of dragons and what 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 do they always say about uh, north northern men who go who yeah. go south right yeah they, they say they don't they, come back yeah so yeah. so John so John and you know and what's great about John you know I, I just love this fucking character so much man. He's just like he tells everybody everything in front. Of, he said like he doesn't hide anything. He's like, guys, mm -hmm. check this out. I got this letter from Daenerys, you know, Targaryen. She's gonna take the throne. This and that. I think we use her as an ally. Of course, there's contempt, and it's like, but you know, again, like I, man, I'm telling you, man, Mikey, I would, I would, I would, I'd follow Jon Snow to the ends of the earth, man. I'd give yeah. him my sword. Like I would just do. Yeah, he's made mistakes, but he, I, I. I agree with his heart. Like I, his heart is. Well, I think right he's he's always. like his dad. I mean, he's like his father. You know, he 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 wants to do. Yeah, but that's he not wants his to dad, do right. Though. That's not no. His dad. Well, I know that's his. He, what, his what, the, the guy he grew he up knows, with. He yes. yeah. He he emulates Eddard Stark because yeah. those are the what what Ned Stark has instilled and in, absolutely so anyway yeah. i would definitely i would definitely go with, but what's interesting is that later on he gets that letter from sam and it's like yeah. oh shit i have to go now they have dragon glass <laughs> like don't, yeah. like they set this up obviously they set this up so mm -hmm. you know i mean 
you know, let's talk about the pacing for a second. Like, I, I, I enjoy the Look, there's only seven episodes. You have yeah. to get everything in. And as long as it's not cheesy and the dialogue doesn't suck and they're, and it's not like Fear the Walking Dead where, you, where you're like, I have no idea why this person did what they're doing. It's yeah. not like that. So, yeah, do what no, you got. You got to get mean, them down there. You got to get they, they got to meet. That's awesome. So I think that's what it is. Like, yeah. I think that's going to be a major pl- uh, part of it. You know, you get to see – you know, uh, uh, um, in, in previous seasons, you may see somebody wanting to go halfway across, you know, Westeros, and it might take two, three episodes or something like that, or even longer. This, we're definitely seeing these large journeys happen like that. So, yeah, um, I'm excited to see John and, and Tyrion again. I'm excited to see the dialogue between Danny and John because we know that that's going to happen. Um, so, so. What? Well, I want to I want to just talk about real quick how um how like so so Cersei right Cersei meets with um uh, Sam's, yeah, bunch, Sam's father yeah right? a bunch of other lords and obviously yeah uh, the Tarleys, Tarleys right yeah and, but but remember Tarly is sworn under the Tyrells who are now yeah. against Cersei mm-hmm. so she, you know so so she has to convince everybody that Daenerys and that's what she's trying to do. And, you and, know. and what's funny is that so so oh, yeah and her brother was like you know jamie was like goes up to tarly and he's like look dude they'll follow you if you join us and he's basically mm-hmm. he was kind of just like eh right like he was like, eh, i don't really care but i i thought that was pretty cool like that the words that jamie put into his into into uh tarly's ears was definitely something for him to 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 think about Dude, Jamie, what do you, you know what I mean? Dude, what do you think about Jamie, man? I mean, not not how you how do you like him, but what do you think about how he's reacting to all this? Because to me, he's not he's not really he doesn't really care. Like he's just he doesn't really care. Like I don't even I mean, sure he'll kill for his sister like if his sister's in That's what danger, it is. But but he doesn't give a shit, dude. Right? Like I don't get the sense that he actually gives a shit. He could give a sh- he could care less about what goes on as long as his sister doesn't die. But you know what? He doesn't really like his sister either. I think he sees, yeah, I, I you know, I think he sees um, the 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 mad queen part of her, you know. But you know, it's not you know his love and his love for her is not going away. Um, I guess, but I don't, I, I don't think he he and he, he knows sees she needs he, you know he knows she needs you know an army. You know, he's not going to betray her. No, he's not going to betray her. I don't think that's going to happen, but I don't so, know. I just, I just, I just, I just don't get any, any like sense of anything from this guy. Like he's like, yeah, he talked to Tarly and stuff, but he's just like going through the motions anyway, whatever. I, I just wanted yeah. to ask you that because I just feel like yeah. he was going through the motions. Um, let's really quick. I want to talk about Arya because we got, we got the reunion, man. We got, we got two reunions with Arya. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got the hot pie um, reunion, which we haven't seen hot pie in a while, and that guy is like, um, he's doing all right uh, for himself. Hot yeah. pie is doing okay. He's do he's making hot pies. <laughs> That's true. There and was the trick, Mike. The trick is to warm the butter before. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> right? Is that it? He, he puts he warms Something. the butter before. He's like, they don't want you because it takes more time, but it just tastes better. Um, yeah. She tells him that John is now king of the north. At, at Winterfell, and she's Kinda like, changes "Oh their whole shit. mission, right?" Because she was about, you yeah, know, we find out, you know, um, previously that she was on her way to Winterfell. She's going to. That's well. Queen. That's when she bumped into the fucking stupid. We were talking about this, even if we were going to mention it, but I wasn't going Ed to. Sheeran, fucking. I wasn't going bullshit. to listen. I like it, Sheeran. Anyway, the point is, um, I don't. I just hate because of the celebrity. That you know, I did, dude, I totally cameos. forgot that too. I was like, "Is that fucking Ed Sheeran?" And I was like, "Oh, I totally forgot that there." Yeah, because where's remember, Colin McGregor? Isn't Colin McGregor in this? Did he pa- did he happen already? I don't fucking know. I don't know if he's supposed to be. I don't know. I don't like they that. Said so- I don't anyway, like that. the point is, I know it's dumb, but the point is, is um, she so, was on so her way. She's to- going down to Winterfell, and she meets up with Nymeria. Now that was a cool fucking scene. That man. was awesome. That was awesome because Nymeria looks fucking huge. Um, we get a glimpse, you know, because we've speaking always of, heard... Speaking of Nymeria, the, your dog's in the background telling you how... Oh, my God. It's fucking annoying, right? <laughs> She's um, like, talk about Nymeria! Yeah, it's talk okay. Talk about it's, Nymeria! It's, it's her, her birthday. Yeah. Aww. So, yeah, so, um, you know, that was one of my reunion um, hopefuls. Yeah. So, excuse me, we got that right away. 
That was good. I like that. Um, that was really good. I was a little disappointed um, that that Ari just didn't jump on Nymeria's back and ride to Winterfell, but obviously <laughs> that wouldn't happen because she because she realized that she's like, not hers anymore yeah. and she's been out and there. And that's not. She says and, she says that's not you, and it was something that was told to her too. Yeah, it was told to her no, by she, her father. No, no, she actually she told her dad. Remember? Well, her dad was saying you're gonna be a, the the. And she's the, like, the that's not me, Lord, and right? Yeah, it's not me, kind of and, thing. So is yeah. So it was yeah, cool so to she she understands, and I think Nymeria is coming back and to help out during the war. I think so too. I think that there'll be that that one um, that one part when they need her most, and or maybe Arya's, um, you know, maybe Arya will be in trouble just herself, and and Nymeria will be there. But she did look super huge. Um, yeah, I'm man. wondering if I would love to see how Ghost would look next to her. But where's Go? Go? We we established Ghost isn't dead, right? Oh, Ghost! No, Ghost is just chilling. It's the budget thing, dude. It's the budget thing. It's just is one of those Ghost, things. But is Ghost still in? Ghost is up north by John. He's never really too far from John. All right. Um, but it would be cool because they made Nymeria look really big. Really big. So I'm just she's wondering been out in the if wild. That's why they said that she's like as big as a horse. Yeah, dude, direwolves are fucking ginormous, dude. So you know, it was really cool. Um, but without you know going too too crazy with that because it was only a, a small uh, portion of the episode. What do you think about um, how fucking cool did Jorah's grayscale look, and how yeah, kind of gross it was? Oh my god, that. Fu- Dude, like, when damn, they, I love Sam. I love Sam. Sam. Got, I, I love him, man. It. He's just like, I'm going to do this anyway, and I'm going to save this yeah. dude. And he fucking, oh, my God, dude. So you had to pull off those things. And how he was kind of, I mean, oh. we just we kind of talked about the hot pie thing, but how they transitioned from oh. Sam getting in there with the scalpel and the guts to, yeah, to you the, know, pie. the pie. Yeah, oh, you know, man, that was so was, great, though. It was kind of what crazy. A, dude, what, what a cool what a cool scene that was, man. I'm glad, yeah. man, because I like Joe. That fucking makeup is fucking badass, dude. dude whoever do whoever does, right? Because it's, 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 you know, considerably covering you know all his his chest and his abdomen and his back and his you know so in his arm completely yeah, covered the so, whole one side of his body yeah he's fucked man yeah it's really it was really cool because we kind of you know there was kind of no hope for um for him if it wasn't so, for sam the archmaester was like you're basically gonna die i'll give you a day to decide you know what you want to do do you want you, yeah. want you want to leave do you want to stay here and die like whatever mm-hmm. um you know so yeah so I, and then sam's like nah man i'm, I'm gonna sam's like fuck that i'll help you yeah just I'm, be quiet gonna, bite down on this i'm gonna fucking help you up uh yeah. yeah but be quiet yeah he's telling him to shut up it's like it's yeah. so funny uh yeah. yeah anyway good stuff man that was that was great uh, it, was, I it was cool dude. um Last, I, 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 yeah, I know what last, you're gonna say. I can't, yeah. We gotta end it on that. It's the way the episode mm-hmm. ended. And dude, man, it makes me so upset. It makes me so upset for a number of reasons. So we're talking about uh, Euron attacking the fucking fleet. So I yeah. was like, they're gonna go back and they're gonna get Martell's fleet, and the, and they're gonna have the you know great the the um you know Greyjoy's fleet, and it's gonna be like, and I was like, dude, you son of a bitch. Like you dumb son of dude, that was a sick ass scene though, when that thing uh, clamped down on the ship. Yeah, so it wouldn't go anywhere. They couldn't escape. Oh my and, god, dude! And then yeah, like, he was a man possessed. He was like uh, like a scene out of like a Marvel fucking X Men thing. You know, just like yeah. screaming and yeah, he's a he's a psychopath. That guy um, is a psycho. He's so he's such a cool. It's so good though. Like he's played so well. I like it. Yeah, a lot. no, he he's played well. Um, he's definitely played well. Dude you know, killed all, the snakes. All these characters. Yeah, they the, killed, the two, they of the killed two of the snakes. snakes. And... Now, re- really quickly, side note. So yeah. Jessica, uh, uh, what, what, uh, crap? One of the snakes. I forget her last name. She's the girl that's in Iron Fist. She plays Colleen Wing in, in Iron Fist. Okay, I wonder I if they killed her character off so she could do because right now, because she she was in Iron Fist, obviously she's mm. in, in the Defenders, which comes out on Netflix in August. Which one was she? She she which one of the snakes? She's yeah. the whip girl. That's the girl. Okay. The okay. Okay. She, I'm pretty sure she, she died. Right. Yeah. And, but I'm wondering if they killed off her character. So she'd be able to shoot. Cause when they shot this, I assume they shot this around the same time as they shot defenders because the defenders is coming out later than game of Thrones. So I'm like wondering if they like, they let her off the hook, basically like right. we're we'll need you for a couple episodes and then 
you know, going to the defenders and, and being that. But anyway, um, I love the I love the actress. Like uh, I like the character she plays. It's, yeah. it's really cool. So, yeah. um, you know, well, listen. I mean, it was it was um, it was definitely rough, uh, and, and maybe lost number one for Danny uh, Danny's um, plan going forward because. It seemed like if there were any ships that possibly escaped in time, it was a small amount of them because a lot of the ships were being burned and taken over. And, you know, we see, like we just said, the two of the sand snakes are are, are dead. Um, They needed, see, now they needed those. They needed that because that's how they were, they needed their ships. So what happens is, you know, and let's not really, I mean, let's, I mean, we can't really gloss over the fact that. Uh, Theon turned into Reek again and disappeared. Oh, that, that, dude, that let let me just kind of without cutting you off, but that annoyed me probably the most out of this. Uh, listen, I've had but you didn't expect no that, gripes. No, because they I made knew, I, him. I knew he was gonna do it. They they kind of um, you know because it was such a cool thing seeing him leave that Reek character behind. but did he really because think about every for, time for a long part it did no i don't I mean, see but i never i don't think so he's always he been broken himself enough he he's redeemed been himself broken enough. still remember, remember he, saved, he saved um sansa and he fought when when bran came out and when they first escaped yeah but uh, he's still anyway, i don't know the point is is i expected it you didn't expect it i didn't i didn't like it because yeah. now you know what he needs to die now because probably will. how many times are you gonna have him kind of um you know what's come the back point? And right. do like it? what's the point you know how many more times are you gonna do this and listen if yara somehow escapes she's gonna kill his ass if she finds him herself because maybe yara was super 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 disappointed in him she teared when she was captured yeah. when when Euron was like come on you little prick you know yeah. you prickless whatever to, you know so that was that was her last straw when it came to her brother because so many times she had his back she went into winterfell remember and tried to escape and he was so scared he st- stood in the in the cage and yeah there was there was so many there was so much um more given from her um to save her brother than her brother was to 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 trying to save you know yara yeah. so i just that kind of disappointed me a little bit because i saw I wanted to see more of his arc growing. Now, I could understand what you were saying. Um, maybe he wasn't com- completely back, but he was fighting again. And we saw how he was fighting on the ships in the, you know, when Euron first attacked. You know, uh, we saw his, his growth from the last season, um, you know, not being controlled by, by Ramsey anymore. So it was kind of devastating because it, it, it kind of took it all back. It kind of yeah. just threw yeah. it, it threw everything that he built up. It destroyed it again for me. Yeah. And now I don't really see anything more out of Theon than him. Maybe, maybe he'll do some brave thing. Maybe he'll try to, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll kill someone at a pivotal moment or something, but he's dead in my book. He's dead. Yeah. I don't think he's going to survive past this season. No. Yeah. We'll have to see. We'll have to see yeah. what happens. Um, all right. Anything else, man? Was there anything else that you wanted to touch on? I mean, I enjoyed this episode a lot. A lot of, like oh, you said, I, mean, I think been, I think they've been great. Danny's hit. Dan, that's that's a that's a blow to Danny because it's a, after the first episode, we're like, yeah, we're they're she getting her shit together. They have this plan. They're gonna go do this thing, and then mm-hmm. that happens. And I was like, and oh. now and I didn't see that one. coming. Yeah. And I was like, son of a bitch. Well, just uh, let me let me end it this way. Remember what Lady Olenis told to Danny after everybody dispersed mm-hmm. from the meeting. Um, if you remember, she said, um, "You're a dragon. Be, be a, drag. a dragon." Yeah. Now, that's not how Danny's acting. Um, you know, uh, we saw we saw how the dragons first. Um, remember when Danny when they were first um, when they were first um, when they were young in their infancy, and how uh, Drogon would fly around and they would kind of do their own thing. And remember when they killed the child? Yeah. I think Drogon was the one that you know, and and. Um, Danny kind of saw her dragons as a curse to a degree, and that's when she locked up uh, Viseria, Viserys, and Rhaegal. Rhaegal yeah. So I'm just, I'm just wondering. I hope Danny doesn't um, lose the battles because she's trying to be too nice. Not, and not kill everyone. Well, she also. Not, 
they know say, what I mean? why why would you want to they they've said it multiple times why would you want to yeah. be the queen of ashes like you're going to be the queen over ashes like yeah you want to she you wants wanna, to be you want to reign she wants to do it the right way she, she wants to like have people to reign people over and, right and and show people right and so, some of them want to yeah so yeah. i'm just that that's a big that's a big, it's a big part of this right now yeah. so let's see you know what card she plays in yeah. the future yeah i know? agree i agree She's definitely, you know, but but again, that's it was a it was a first blow to her, and I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see where we'll see where it goes. You know. Yeah, we'll um, see how she treats Tyrion because remember a lot of this, a lot of this was Tyrion's, cons, you know, conspiring of this of this mission. So, if Tyrion loses some of these battles, I wonder if she's going to change how she feels about him. Will she strip Tyrion of his hand of the queen thing? I'm just excited. You know, I'm excited. And to then see we, what you know, and we got. Role. And we got Danny and John coming up. We got their meeting coming yeah. up because he's yeah, going down there now. Yeah, which is going to be so. an interesting thing, and it's going to be good. That's yep, yep, yep. Cool, cool. All right, so uh, let's drop it. We're going to stop it now, guys. Uh, so yeah. I want to thank you for for uh, watching or listening, yes. whatever you're doing, Mikey. Uh, speaking of which, where, where can they get us at? Yes, of course you can get us on YouTube, Third Person Pod on YouTube. Check us out. We love seeing all the comments. Um, there's a lot of other videos. Don't forget our discussion. Our, our first two discussions of episode one and two have got to kind of come out relatively quick since um, we were both on vacation. So we had to kind of bang these out right away. So don't forget to check out um, some of our other videos. Like I said earlier, we were in. I was in Croatia where I went to the actual King's Landing. And I have a lot of cool videos from my yep. Game of Thrones tour there. Yep. So check that out. There's really cool videos. And they, we kind of go back. I had a really cool tour guide uh bruno who was you know at certain points we, he was showing us exactly where all our favorite scenes were shot so check those out but of course check us out on third person pod on instagram and on facebook just leave all the stuff there we have some cool um pictures that we were posting from the trip and a lot of game of thrones stuff that we're posting on instagram and don't forget uh itunes and you can listen to us there and and our discussions of uh, of these episodes yep definitely um should we talk about comic blitz of course if you like your comics get your comic blitz you know, on. if you like comic blitz uh go check out third per- uh, no, go check out comicblitz.com <laughs> put in our code you can put our code in and you can get yourself um a sweet little uh deal for uh three three bucks for the first three months of your uh subscription yes that's a dollar a month you can get unlimited comics whatever whatever subscription you get but you can get it for three dollars uh, so that's pretty awesome over there. Um, and then also, uh, if you guys aren't listening to Retro Squat, please go listen to Retro Squat or tell a friend about Retro Squat. It's this really cool uh, '80s retro mashup um, uh, podcast that I do with an, with another buddy of mine. And uh, I just want to get more people listening to it because it's kind of fun. It, it's something special. We, could, we really you know enjoy doing it. And uh, yeah, so go over there and check that out. And uh, and that's gonna do it, guys. Uh, episode three is coming up. We're gonna uh, that video is gonna be out real soon, and uh, yeah, thanks for all the comments and all the love, and we really really appreciate it. And uh, keep them coming, keep them coming. We love it, and we'll see you guys on the totally. next video. Peace.